practical changes to make regarding fluoride detox. Um, this one's a tough one because when you ingest fluoride, it, de it what it's designed to do, why it's a tool to help prevent cavities is it gets taken up by the bony structure. Um, in, in the enamel, it gets taken up and it replaces calcium in the enamel matrix. Um, so we wanna make sure that if we're trying to eliminate fluoride from our body, then the first step would be to not ingest it anymore. And to me, that's that's really all you can do. You can you can do get out in the sun, you know, get lots of vitamin D if you can, do some vitamin C. But really, as far as detoxing from fluoride, the best thing that you can do is just try your best not to ingest it anymore. I think it's not practical. I wouldn't say impossible, but it's not practical to avoid it altogether just because it's everywhere. Uh, you know, if it's in the water supply, then even if you're not drinking tap water, anytime you eat out at a restaurant or have packaged foods, anything that you're eating or drinking that is made with water from a municipal water source is more than likely going to have fluoride in it. So I think doing your, your best uh, and being realistic with that is all you can do to avoid fluoride. And I would say, leave it at that. That's your best detox from it.